In today's Madden 21 video breakdown, I'm going to be showing you a little mini scheme out of the gun bunch in the um, West Coast Offensive Playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch to my YouTube channel today. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, uh, my channel is all about getting better at Madden 21. I try to improve every single day through learning, through studying uh, film of the best players, and I try to relay some of the information that I'm learning with you guys. And so if you're looking to get better, if you're looking to join that journey with me, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And I want to also ask that you go ahead and join our text message membership. Now, if you've never heard of our text message membership, basically what it is, is it's a free membership. All you got to do is shoot me a text message uh, to sign up. My number in the, is in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and it's also 812-216-3644. So just shoot me a text message. I have a ton of content um, for my text message members that is exclusively just for them, and it's basically high-level Madden schemes, um, high-level defenses and offenses that you're seeing at the top top of the line uh, within the Madden community as well. So we have over an hour of a gun bunch guide, over two hours uh, of material on the big nickel over G defense. Uh, we have, uh, I think we have over an hour on defending the trips tight end specifically. Um, we have different things from the gun cluster. We actually just released this last week to our text members, an hour video breakdown of the A slot offset offensive formation. So if you want to get those, e those uh, videos, they come out every single week. So I update it every single week um, for you guys as well, go ahead and shoot me a text message, completely free to sign up for it. Okay, so what I want to do, I've been getting a lot of people that have requested this formation, and I want to talk a little bit about the history with this. So um, this playbook is my favorite playbook of all time in Madden, and the primary reason that it's my favorite playbook of all time in Madden is it's the playbook where I started. This is my first playbook breakdown. You can look at my channel. If you look at the oldest, if you sort my videos by the oldest, the very first video I did was on the gun, uh, wasn't even on the gun bunch. I was actually at that time on the far tight slot, which we're going to get into a little bit later today. But this playbook is truly near and dear to my heart. Um, it's been my favorite playbook in Madden um, pretty much every single year. Uh, obviously, with this year, me switching a little bit to the air raid and the spread uh, principles, I, I do obviously love the air raid offense. But you can, you know, there's something special about the playbook where you started. So, anyways, I want to talk a little bit. I've been getting a lot of questions about Gun Bunch and how to use Gun Bunch. So, I wanted, I wanted to do a video on it. Um, the first thing that you want to understand about Gun Bunch, and one of the things that I think is most important about Gun Bunch especially from West Coast, is you you want to understand the importance of the routes that you need to be effective in Madden 21. Madden 21 is not necessarily just about formations. It's not necessarily, especially on the offensive side of the ball, it's not necessarily just about formations. It's not even necessarily just about um, um, route combinations. It's about stock routes that you get. When you're looking at a playbook, you really try to figure out what stock routes come with it, right? And, and so um, that's why a lot of people run Carolina. If people run the gun bunch, the primary reason they're running Carolina is for the play PA post. Now, my personal opinion, um, I don't really get too worried about PA post um, or not PA post, I'm sorry, double post, uh, just because of the, the depth at which the routes cross and the routes develop. And that's kind of what we're going to show you in our in our breakdown today here. So the first audible I like from Gun Bunch is Deep Attack. The second audible I like is the play Deep Corner. I think this is still one of the best plays in Madden. It's been one of the best plays in Madden ever since it's been put into the game. So Deep Corner is definitely a must-have. Uh, verticals and then Corner Strike. And then pretty much the primary play that we're going to come out in is mesh post. I believe mesh post is still the best play um, that the gun bunch offers for a variety of different reasons. And we're going to break down why uh, in this video. So if you have a slot, if you have a slot apprentice uh, for this gun bunch offense, you want to put him at this right side. If you have a tight end apprentice, you obviously want to keep him at the tight end. I recommend for gun bunch. The beauty of West Coast is you don't necessarily have to have a hot route master to be able to run it. You're going to get all of the routes that you need because um, because you're not going to need to do that. But I got Brady just because I want to break down some, some little uh, nuances to this as well. But the other thing that I was going to say is that what you can, if you notice in the, in with a lot of people that are running MCS and they're running gun bunch, one of the things that they're doing is they're having a tight end apprentice and a slot apprentice within their bunch. That's actually very helpful. Um, it allows you to do a lot of different things as well from the bunch that you might not, 
um, not might not normally be able to do. Okay, so I just wanted to show you uh, kind of the base play today, and this is going to be a couple. We'll do a couple videos on the on the West Coast playbook. I think I've been getting a lot of requests uh, for this, um, and so we're going to go ahead and, and, and knock that out for you guys. Um, so as far as defense it goes, obviously you're going to face a lot more nickel than you are going to face dime, but I, in my opinion, dime just gives better coverages. So we're going to start uh, start with the dime defense, and obviously if you don't have an answer for man to man, you know you're not playing Madden 21 right. Um, now, as a general rule, what most people would suggest and recommend to you is to run the gun bunch to the wide side of the field. So we're going to kind of illustrate that within today's uh, breakdown. Obviously, if you're on the right hash, all you got to do is flip everything that I'm about to tell you. So the first play that we're going to be going over is is um, mesh post. And the what I want to kind of break down really quickly what you un like under so you understand what you're getting with this. You get this post route over the middle of the field. Now, this post route, um, when you motion him out like that and snap right there, you'll see that he should get inside separation the majority of the time against man-to-man -man coverage. If Scotty Miller is not going to get separation, it's okay because if you're playing mutt and you have receivers that have really good route running, they're going to get separation. One other thing I did want to tell you is um, if you if you if you if you need to if you're worried about separation or whatever. You know, you can just run with any regs team that has a good receiver, and that can be your guy. But as you can see here, with that motion out and snap, what I like about Gun Bunch is the fact that you can motion snap a lot. And so you could easily, you know, motion snap this route right here to Scotty Miller um, and kind of do this right here. Now, one of the little things that I like to do, and uh, we'll break this down a little bit later in the bunch, is I actually like to motion him twice. I think you get a better motion snap in general when you motion him twice. So I'll motion him out, motion him back in, and then I'll motion him back out. And you'll see here he gets better separation uh, on a lot of different things that we're going to do within this offense. So I like to keep everything exactly the same. And so really we're always going to be motioning, um, at least for the majority of the part of the gun bunch, you're, all, you're always going to be motioning kind of the same one or two, maybe three people in the same general directions. And that's what I love about bunch is that it – it is so, um, in my opinion, it is so able to move within and out of, of, of different setups. So it's so obviously that route's going to be man-to-man. -man. Now, I want to show you the rest of the routes on this play and kind of break this down. Now, the one adjustment that I like to make, at least on the first version of this setup that I'm going to give you today, is I like to take my running back and put him on a little flat route to the left. I don't like him going on a wheel route because what I want my running back to do is I want my running back to pull the zones on the left side of the field. So as you see here, something like this. And you'll notice that these mesh routes do a pretty good job of actually picking each other. Um, they're one of the few uh, routes in the game that actually do this. The one thing you might try um, is just redragging. If you if you basically redrag Mike Evans, it's going to get him to go at a little bit of a shallower drag, and you'll see you'll get a more natural pick and a more natural rub as this, as this play kind of progresses. Now, Press Man does do, uh, I think, exceptional uh, against mesh post this year um, obviously you're going to have your little post route now the one thing that you have to understand uh, when you're running this is one other little adjustment that you could make to this offense is you could take your tight end and just put him on an out route and as long as he doesn't i don't know what just happened right there but as long as he doesn't get caught up like that he's generally going to beat man to man uh, on a quick out you'll see Drini. Um, you'll even see like young Henry, you'll see people doing this a lot in the Madden community. Uh, but basically there's just this quick out. It's just, it's the same purpose. It serves the same purpose as a flat. Um, it doesn't get out there quite as quick, but in my opinion, you know, if you're, if they're showing a man look, you obviously want to be prepared to beat man to man on the backside. Um, your running back shoot route from bunch beats man really, really well. You see the natural pick, the natural rub that's going to occur with that, with that drag route. That's, a, that's in my opinion, one of the things that I love about this play. Um, this play has been just, I, I'm telling you, this is truly like, um, this is the simplest bunch in the world to run West Coast. Um, it's been very similar for years. But what you'll notice right here is this route really gets out there. And um, if, you, if you throw it on the cut with a pass lead to the outside, you'll be surprised at how much you will beat man-to-man. -man. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to flip the play because I just want to I want you to see um, kind of what you're going to get if they flip the play because it does give them a little bit better of alignment um, as far as man-to-man -man coverage goes. So I just want you to see this. Um, and again, the, the primary thing that you have to remember here is you're going to throw it right 
there on the cut and you see he still is able to get out and he's still able to go the one thing that they're going to be able to do to kind of combat that a little bit is they'll go to something like this um basically what they'll do is they'll man up this guy right here uh, this this defensive end will go into a man coverage assignment onto the back and um this is just a little tactic a little trick of the trick uh little, little trick that people use uh and what you'll see right here is he's still able to get out there in my opinion especially unless that's like a um you know if you're in mutt and that's you know uh Derek brooks or something then that makes more a little bit more sense but in general you know you want to kind of peek and make sure that your flats are open and the, the really truly um i think the most important tip i can give you about gun bunch is always take your flats it's a west coast offense it's an offense that's designed to you know basically be death by a thousand paper cuts so you want to take your underneath reads now one of the things i did want to cover about about the man coverage is i wanted to cover the man the meta man coverage so when people are starting to go cover zero which means that they're going to probably shade coverage um over top when they run cover zero and what you'll notice is when people start to shade their coverage over top a lot of these routes will become much much more wide open uh the tight end route will become more open you'll see right here i can low ball that to the tight end for a quick read a nice and easy um a nice and easy five yards the back will still be open uh on a lot of things you'll be able to hit the 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 post route everything becomes a little bit more open when they start to, to do the shading you'll notice that these drags get a lot more separation um whenever whenever that that type of strategy that type of tactic um begins to be utilized so those are some things um in my opinion also that you need to be aware of and um let me just show you really quick one other little uh one of the other routes here against this meta man uh and again when i say meta man it's just kind of the way most people run man which is from what i've been seeing a lot of people are doing they you know basically cover zero um and then essentially either running cover one out of that or cover um or just straight up robber coverage you know where they have you know all those safeties are kind of doing whatever they want but basically they'll use zones from the safeties to take away a lot of your favorite routes so you might see something like if you were running gun bunch you might see something like this right here you might literally just see cover one robber press and in their mind that's going to take everything away the beauty of the bunch is it can always go in different directions um and, and it looks exactly the same that's in my opinion my favorite piece about this but what you'll see here you do that little motion he's going to get good separation and then right there you can hit your, your your drag coming across and get a pretty good game okay so now what i want to do is i want to talk about it um as it relates to uh zone coverage really really briefly and again this offense is going to work uh pretty good in regs i think it works really well uh with the buccaneers just because um because you have you have the ability to have a, a you basically can hot route anything you want um if you weren't going to run with the buccaneers i personally would recommend uh that you would run this offense um either with the saints and take advantage of michael thomas or the the uh, kansas city chiefs and take advantage of travis kelsey so uh, the next thing that I wanted to show you would be zone coverage. And the first thing that I want to show you here is cover to press. And um, this is uh, kind of a general, you know, a lot of people use cover two in defending the bunch, especially the bunch side. Um, you'll see a lot of Mabel coverages and things like that. But what you'll notice is with these motions, you'll be able to hit this tight end um, on cover two. And you'll be able to get a pretty, um, a pretty decent gain um against this a lot of the times and let me just show you what i'm talking about so these are just simply uh cover two and um and again if they don't put any hard flats over here which honestly you know at this point in the year a lot of people are running mabel coverage which we'll show you how to beat that in just a moment but you'll see here if that corner drops back you can kind of get out there and um and get the ball to the to the tight end the next thing that i want to show you about mesh post and, and the reason we're starting with mesh post is because in my opinion that's where the bunch starts but this is if like let's say they double flat right let's say they take they take the flats away this is what these flat routes are for and what that's going to start to do is it's really going to start to open up the middle of the formation it's going to start to open up the middle of the field and this route to scotty miller what you'll notice here is once he gets you see how the clear out and he's going to come right in that little pocket and i actually like that a little bit better than the depth of double post just because i think that it um, it opens up against zone a lot better, especially if a defense starts to run something like what I'm about to show you right here. This is cover three, uh, Mabel coverage to the bunch side, basically. 
And then what they're going to do is maybe man up the back on the backside, you know, just some kind of different max coverage strategies that people are going to employ against you. And what you'll see here with these motions um, and with, again, I like, like I said, I like to redrag Mike Evans just to keep it underneath and then reflat uh, the back here. But what you'll see is he's going to go, it's just a simple pass lead up and you're going to get that, you're going to get that animation uh, right there every single time. And that's against a cover three zone. Um, and pretty much what you'll notice about that is we pretty much had every single thing open. We had the drag underneath. We, we didn't have our, our flats, our flat routes are doing what they're designed to do. Um, you know, people think the flat routes, you know, you, that's your money route. What are you doing? Not really. The flat routes are simply, um, designed to basically pull the zones out of the middle of the field and allow room for you to put this post route. And what I like about this post route really quickly um, before we uh, before we move on uh, to another coverage one of the things I want to show you about this post route is how like let me just uh, show you this for example let's just take um, we'll just run it exactly as we're running it here but I want you to watch how long developing this post route is this post route really develops over the course of an entire play you see goes 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 and then all the way across the formation that's what I like about it because the zones in this year's game they do a lot of drifting so they're going to drop back if they're playing cover three deep half this is one of my favorite reads in madden and um, again this is a very very simple uh you know a very very simple way to run bunch we have um a full guide on the gun bunch in our text message membership and it's from the carolina playbook so if you want to get the access to that material just shoot me a text message but if you'll notice here you get this guy out there's far enough and he's just going to cross all the way across. Now watch. This is a deep half. I can low ball right in front of it. I can low ball right in front of the deep half, which is really a powerful uh, a powerful tool. So, so, so those are some of the things that you're going to see. Now, obviously, what's going to happen is they're going to start to use her the route to Scotty Miller. And really what's going to happen, and again, I love mesh. I love that concept in general. And so what you'll notice here is these little drags are pretty much always going to be open. Um, I want to show you the one defense that I think would give this a little bit of trouble if they were if they were usering uh, Scotty Miller. And it's simply a max coverage uh, defense, really. And we're just going to use her. Um, you're, we're actually going to use her Scotty Miller with this safety um, just to kind of give the best possible coverage. And we're going to throw a spy out there. And we've got hard flats and four yellow zones all of our zones are shaded down. And I just want to show you these mesh routes. And I want to show you the power and how they're basically always open. What you have to do is you have to read them both kind of at the same time. So you're looking at your flat, then you're looking at the post, and then you're looking at these little crossers. And what you can see here is you can secure catch these in front of shaded down yellow zones a lot. And it can be very, very successful for you. Um, and so I just wanted to show that. And again, you can do this for multiple things. Um, these drags come open at multiple different points. The beauty of the drag, um, the beauty of the drag and the flat combo, again, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I think it's so important for you to understand it. If you watch this vert hook on the left side, see how he drifts out to cover, see how he drifts out to cover the flat zone because there's no immediate threat in his area. That's what's going to happen whenever you uh, whenever you run this at a high clip and they start dropping, like, for example, they might drop defensive linemen right here. I'll show you that. We're going to drop defensive ends on both sides of the formation. And what I want to show you is how these routes really do work. I can hit that drag to Mike Evans every single time. So that is something to me that is really, really powerful. Now, one of the last thing I do want to show you uh, from this is let's say that they do something like this, but let's say they go literally all out and they literally max coverage you at every, every single uh, possible point within this offense. Well, what I like about this, as far as a breakdown, once the play breaks down, first and foremost, you have Scotty Miller, right? But as you're coming across here, if I just playmaker the drag upfield, you see he's going to go right into this little pocket and this is going to be an open window for you to throw. So if you see that they're shading coverage down on your drag and you have a little bit of time in the pocket, you can, when you playmaker it, literally all you have to do is you're just flicking the right joystick up and to the right. I think I generally just flick it up. I don't even go to the right side. But what you'll see here is because he's the closest player to the quarterback, playmaker him up. And right there, I could have hit that had I had a, just a, a, a split second longer. So that is a little bit about the gun bunch offense. 
in Madden 21. If you would like to see more of these types of videos, please let me know in the comments section. If you would like our full gun bunch guide, you can pick that up just by shooting me a text message. And that specific guide is based out of the Carolina playbook. A lot of the concepts do apply uh, to this playbook right here. Uh, I just want to show you this real quick. You see how he can, you see how he can get over that, over that, um, over that zone. Now the sheds in practice mode are absolutely absurd. Um, so what we're going to do is back this off. I just want to show you this one more time because I really think this is a very powerful, um, a pair, something that you really need to know uh, when you're running this. But if you want to pick up that full guide, literally all you got to do is shoot me a text. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description. For those of you guys that don't know, my channel uploads four videos every single day on YouTube. So our next video uh, will go live at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time today. And, it will also, and then we'll have another one at 6 and we'll have another one at 8. And then we'll also be live streaming uh, tonight on our YouTube channel. Uh, and the way, the best way that you can be notified about all of that stuff is just turn your notifications on on our YouTube channel or go ahead and join my community Discord. And Discord is a great place to be able to connect not just with me, but also the rest of my Madden community. So if you want to join that Discord, that link is also in the description um, if, of this video. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. I hope you found something in this video useful. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below.